everybody, Martika here and welcome. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my Small Butterick and Vogue haul. I did take advantage of the sale uh, that happened last week, but the Joann's that I went to did not have like the most recent patterns out. So instead of making a wasted trip, I went on ahead and I thumbed through the books and I just decided to find and look and see if there was anything that I might have needed. And um, yeah, I did find a few. So let me go ahead and share those with you. So the first one that I picked up is Butterick 6684. And it is this really cute top, you guys. I do like all of these versions of the top. I like this with the straight sleeve. And then um, I love, uh, I believe it's called the, uh, the Pussycat Bow really really cute and then uh, i do like the the little ruffle sleeves here too now i don't care for the way that her bow is you know kind of it just looks like she just wrapped something around her neck it's not really <laughs> attached and that's i don't like that part of it so if i was to make this view i'd pr i would probably omit it in some way but view a i do like i think it looks really cute i think it's very cute uh would look really cute with some jeans or some leggings or even some slacks like she's wearing it with and that's what i'm trying to do is i need more tops in my wardrobe to uh kind of pair with jeans and leggings and shorts and things like that so yeah that's my goal here so I'm going to turn this over so you can see the line drawings to each of these and uh, yeah that's the the uh, shorter uh, sleeve version there and then that's the ruffled version and then of course we have the straight um, the straight sleeve version and then oh we do have another version too you guys there's a another version which is D which is like the same ruffled sleeve but it has a neck tie like that one there like that one there but it has the ruffle sleeve on there so that's pretty cute so the fabric that is suggested for this pattern is chalet crepe double double georgette crepe de chine and charmeuse and then as far as the notions go you guys there are no notions for this top how easy is that it does say that it's easy no notions needed, nothing but fabric and thread. That's a winner right there. So if you're needing some cute tops, uh, definitely consider uh, Butterick 6684. And then the next one that I grabbed was Butterick 6842. And you guys, this is a Palmer and Plesh, the tissue fitting method pattern. I do love the tissue fitting method. Every time I have done it uh, on myself, you guys, my, it just seems like the the uh, finished product just came out perfect so i definitely live by the tissue fitting method in all of my patterns now just to make sure everything is uh hitting where it's supposed to hit so this one right here view a is what caught my eye when i saw this uh pattern because this over what was it the fall i believe it was I made a top something like this. It was a high-low effect and it was a Butterick pattern. I cannot remember the uh, the pattern number. I will put it below here so that you will uh, see it. But I did do a review on it. it. But this right here, I just love these sleeveless tops. And what I like about this one is like this butterfly winged um collar and it doesn't have like the collar stand so it doesn't go all the way around love that you guys this is going to be very cool to wear in the summer not only cool but stylish too because it's it's that uh butter that wing there that makes this top you can even do it in a three-quarter length uh, sleeve version and even a full length sleeve version if you want sleeves and so that makes all of these as you can see makes all of these really really cute and then on the suggested fabrics you see the line drawings here you do you are gonna all of these are button up so uh, this is an average to sew. This is not beginner friendly. So if you are a beginner, this is not one to go and grab and pick up and try to sew right off the bat. Um, unless you are familiar with like putting on buttons. But 
The fabrics needed is designed for medium weight woven fabrics such as poplin, crepe de chine, seersucker, and charmeuse, okay? Um, I could even see, especially this top right here in a really cute denim. What do you guys think? I think that would be a, like a really cute denim top. A uh, lightweight that is and then for your notions you will need notions for this as discussed you will need buttons and uh, depending on which version you are doing you need more or less okay so for view a you're going to need four because there's no sleeves for view b the three-quarter length you're going to need six and then for view c you are going to need eight buttons so definitely pay attention to what is needed if you are doing this pattern here and then the next pattern I grabbed was Butterick 6688 and this is just like one of those just a cute top that can just go with so much if you ask me um, I do like version a uh, version B there what she's wearing but let me tell you which one caught my eye on this one View A is what caught my eye. I love the way that those ruffles cascade down the side there. This this is just so cute, you guys, to me. So I know that I'm going to be definitely making this to pair up with a pair of shorts, pair up with some jeans. This is going to be so cute. But I think that all of these views are really, really cute. If you want, uh, if you want ruffled uh, longer sleeve with a ruffled end, you can do that like a bell sleeve. And then if you don't want the ruffles on the end, you could easily do view C. Okay, so yeah, very, very cute pattern. So for the fabrics that suggested on this one, and you see the line drawings here, even the line drawing on this one is really, really cute. So the suggested fabrics are crepe de chine, crepe, double georgette, chalice, and charmeuse. Okay, and then the notions that's needed, you guys, for this one is only a package of single fold bias tape. So this is an easy to sew pattern, definitely beginner friendly. Yes, love that. Then I grabbed Butterick 6495. Now you guys, you know these patterns are just $1.99. I'm going to be honest and tell you, I could not remember if I had gotten this pattern already. You guys know me. I'm good at doubling up on patterns, but I wasn't sure. And the drive I took was too long for me to be trying to guess if I had the pattern or not. For $1.99, I just went on ahead and grabbed it. I said, if I do already have it, well, guess what? Somebody be blessed with it or if I'm in between sizes we'll get I just have two patterns now so Butterick 6495 this is a lifestyle wardrobe uh, pattern which Butterick is so very uh, known for and I do love their wardrobe patterns because you can take fabric coordinating fabrics and you can do yourself like a whole entire wardrobe uh, or you can just do one or two pieces if you want to so in this pattern you have a top, a dress, a jumpsuit, a jacket, and pants in this. How cute is that? How, I mean, that, that right there, she just looks so put together and it's so simple. And then if she wanted to, she could pair up a dress just like she did here with that duster. And you guys, if she's going, say, for cocktails or something afterwards, she could easily take that off and she is ready for her after five. Didn't have to do nothing but take this off amazing then you have your jumpsuit your top and pants just so many ways to coordinate this so if i don't have it i am glad that i did go ahead and grab it so the fabric suggested for this is moderate stretch knits which i love and then uh that is interlock jersey and ponte so very very uh easy knits to always be able to find if you don't have them in your stash and the notions that's needed is as you see in the line, the line drawings if you're doing view c which is the jumpsuit uh you are going to need one belt now that's what it says it's just one belt okay so that is your own belt okay <laughs> They said, look, we don't need to show y'all how to make no belt. Get your own out of the closet, all right? So <laughs> you need one belt for view C. I don't think I have ever seen that before in a pattern. That is too funny. And then uh, and for view C and E, you're also going to need elastic 
that's it you guys this is an entire wardrobe pattern that is easy to sew grab a belt out your closet and grab some elastic out of your, your stash all right so <laughs> that is just hilarious but yeah and you can make up this entire wardrobe just mixing and matching your fabrics or hey doing everything in, in a monochromatic form and doing it all in one color so the last one that I picked up was Vogue 1835. And yes, you guys, this has been around for quite some time, but you know, I, I didn't get it, <laughs> all right? I guess one of the reasons, usually if I don't grab patterns like these, it's usually because I probably got something sim similar or had something similar or didn't think that I needed it at the time. However, I guess I've changed my mind because this one really just caught my eye in this, in this time in my life. Um, I just think that's really cute. And it is a lounge set. Y'all know I'm totally into the lounge where you could do it with the sleeveless version uh, with this off the shoulder look, or you can do it in this long sleeve version, which still kind of gives it an off the shoulder look, but you can raise this shoulder up if you just want the wide, um, neckline opening instead so and this looks like that it's a drop sleeve on there so we'll be able to see it better once we turn it over and see the line drawings and i was correct it is more like a drop sleeve well take that back this one well when you drop that sleeve it looks like it, it drops even more but you kind of got a little bit of a a drop sleeve going on on the edge there so i don't know We'll find out when we make it. Those those line drawings don't give us a whole lot. So um, the oh, shut the front door. You guys, View D shows you how to make these slippers. What? I didn't even see that. Those little slippers there. You can make some matching slippers. Oh my goodness, how cute! So. As you can tell, I didn't read the, the details too well in the store. But uh, let's see, for the suggested fabrics, once I can find them, right here. Okay, so we're looking for, we need some moderate stretch knits. We also, uh, and for that we need, we're talking about like jersey and ponte knits, sweatshirt, fleece, and velour. And then for uh, view D, you will need some interfacing, okay, which is sew-in fleece or headliner foam, okay? And then, um, yeah, that they mix the other language in with that description. So that's what you need if you wanna make those cute little slippers, which I might have to try my hand at. And so the notions that's needed is not a lot, you guys. For view C, which are the pants, you're gonna need some elastic and you're also gonna need some cord, okay? Some cording that's for the tie belt there, okay? And if you can't find that, you can always, you know, make your own um, out of the fabric itself. And then for view D, for the slippers, you're gonna need some elastic. That's it. Oh my gosh, this, how fun. If I had known that back then, I probably would have went on ahead and grabbed this pattern. But you guys, yeah, that's that. So that is the end. I told you guys it was a short one. That's the end of my Butterick and my Vogue pattern haul. Okay, I picked up four Buttericks and I picked up one little Vogue there. And I believe that I'm gonna enjoy all of these patterns, okay? Uh, when you go, you know, to shop for patterns and everything, don't just think that you have to just leave with so many every single time. Go and get exactly what you believe that you're gonna need in your wardrobe, and you will be so much more happier with your selection. And every haul is not gonna be a big one. So yeah, this is my little mini haul, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you have not, thumbs up, like this video, you guys, and that because that helps my channel and subscribe if you have not and I will see you in the next video have a great one bye bye